Hi there and welcome back to another episode of 32 Bit Rant and first of all I would like to say that yeah it's been a bit of a while um, it's mostly due to the fact that technological issues and automobiles have been a slight issue with trying to get a video together when you're just going ah all the time so yeah I haven't actually got something prepared yet. My wee editing thing, I should just have myself appear again with an idea. Maybe. Alright, well, welcome to... Sorry, that was me turning the monitor off. Anyway, welcome to the bit where I'm meant to mention what I'm talking about. And we'll be talking about one of my all-time favourite games, which is called McRae Rally 2. It's featured in another video with the AMD Duron um, build thing that i done a wee while ago but I'm actually going to talk about the game itself now and uh, why I like it so much because it's a really good game, I think. So let's just get started. Alright, so Colin McRae Rally 2 was the second one in the series. It was released in 2000 for the PlayStation, the PC and the Game Boy Advance. It featured arcade modes, AI drivers, advanced advanced graphics um, and it also featured the voice of the co-driver Nicky Grist who was the co-driver for Colin McRae in the World of Rally Championships of 2000. Features a decent Wii selection of motors and so on. Um, it's also a really fun game, I think. So we'll go into. I think we'll dive straight in. So when you start up the game, let me turn that down a bit. Um, it does show you the the menu. You can bump up your graphics and whatever else. Six forty before eighty on a GTX nine fifty. I think not. Oh, that'll do. Oh, that's better. I'll just ramp everything up that I can be bothered to use. So, there isn't actually a mouse need for this game, you just use your arrow keys. So, if I move this down, you see it moves on the screen. Um. And then obviously this has got music. And to play the game, you simply just need your arrow keys as well. We'll play as guest just currently get this out of the way. I don't mean to sound if I'm fed up, but you know. Um go to Italy, number of CPU drivers one, number of laps one, just make it simple. Okay, there's two CPU drivers. You use the arrow keys, you pick you drive your car. I've got mine in a specific view you use. V or C to change a view, I'm, I can't quite remember. I probably should have spent a bit of time before this video actually doing this. And you take the car round about the course. Car handles very well, you very rarely need to use the brakes. If your frame rate struggles like this, then there's something wrong with your hardware. It's really hard to do this with the one hand, I'm, I will admit. Um, there is a bug somewhere, I can't remember what it is, that causes your frame rate to tank when you hit a corner. Um, or oh, in a lot of modern hardware. Um, Oh, good God, I'm terrible at this. Right, right, enough. Enough. So, yes. I'll admit, yeah. It's dated. Graphics are about old. The game mechanics are far from being realistic. And whatever else. But see if you really want something that will run on just about anything made in the last 20 years that doesn't require much skill or effort, that you just want to play to kill time even, then get this game. Um, I'm sure there's ways of getting it uh, that are um, something I can mention here. But legally buy it from places, even buy it second hand on a DVD or a CD or whatever it comes in. Um, mine's a less than legal copy, but I do have a real one, so nobody kill me. I don't sell these to make money. I don't even sell these at all. So, anyway. Yeah. 
I haven't played the entire game yet, I would admit it. I've only ever played the first couple of levels before something disastrous happened with the hardware I've been playing it on. <coughs> Power supply exploding. Um, but yes, it's a game that I would highly recommend. And if this isn't the conclusion you are looking for, then I've just wasted your time greatly. Thank you. Oh wait, I didn't do that right. Did I? Uh, editing's hard. Alright, let me try that again. Um, thank you for watching. Or thank you for letting me waste your time for however long this video actually lasts for. Make sure to like, I don't know where the button is, wherever you're watching this, down the way or the side, I don't know. Uh, subscribe, comment if you will. I'm always open to constructive feedback and so forth. Um, I may actually upload some of the video files from the CD-ROM that's like called the one to demonstrate a track. I can't quite get the intro video but other people have got it on YouTube. I'll put a link to it down in the description hopefully. And also to my Patreon thingy, my jig that I set up. I still don't quite know how to work but I'll put a link to that as well. I'm not pressuring people into putting money into it but it would be nice. Again purely optional, I won't take it personally if you say no, he doesn't deserve the money, but it's up to you, frankly. Nothing lost, nothing gained, eh? Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and good night.